you guys want a really fun and cheap way to get yourself some FIFA coins, then check out FIFA Jackpot in the description down below. What you can do is you can open these crazy packs, get some crazy players, and get some crazy coins. If you want to do so, remember to use discount code KURT5 for 5% off. Boom! What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new mini series I'm going to be doing which is FIFA 1615 completed transfers. Today we're going to be looking at players that have transfers already completed and we're going to be doing it throughout the summer and we're going to look at what we think their FIFA card will be in the next FIFA compared to what their card is now. I found I think seven uh, completed transfers already and I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys could smash that like button that'd be absolutely amazing. If we could hit 750 likes that'd be great. Comment as well down below who you think will be the biggest signing this summer. There's some crazy money ones done already and I'm sure there is a lot more still to come. So I thought I would ease it in with one I'm sure every single one of you guys know as Memphis Depay to Manchester United. The guy has gone for an estimated fee of around 25 million big ones. That's a lot of money but he is a very, very top player and he's in high demand at the moment. A PSV player who is the top scorer in the in the Eredivisie. I think he scored the most direct free kicks in Europe over the last two seasons by quite a long way and the kid is looking like a top, top player. That card, the 82 rated, would be absolutely sensational. The ratings are insane. Next up, we have a player that I think went under a lot of people's radars. I didn't even really see this and apparently it's been confirmed over the last few days. Uh, Tottenham have apparently picked up Kevin Wimmer from uh, FC Cologne or Cologne. I'm not sure how you're actually supposed to say it, but they've picked him up for an estimated fee of around 4.5 million. He looks like he could be a decent little player in next year's FIFA. Uh, I'm basing a lot of his stats off So FIFA, which is his head-to-head -head stats uh, that he's currently already got. Plus, I'm sure he'll get a little boost for moving to the Premier League, as most players do. So bear that in mind for all of these cards. I've based most of them off their head-to-head. -head. Next up, we have Paulson. This one was just a random one I could find. He's gone on a free transfer from AZ Alkmaar to PSV. It's not really one anyone will care about, but I thought I'll include any, like, slightly relative ones that I found. Next up, we have this guy. Now, this guy, it'll be his first time in FIFA. He's gone from uh, Atletico Paranense, I think that's how you say it, uh, for 4.5 million. He's signed for Chelsea over the last few weeks. He is a very interesting looking attacking mid. He's had a lot of controversy at Atletico Paranense. Uh, a lot of like problems with the management, with the board, stuff like that. But he must be at least somewhat decent if Chelsea are picking him up. And he's around a 69 rating on head to head at the moment. So could be an interesting little silver next season. But silvers are always fun, especially Premier League ones. Next up we have, uh, I think it's Max Cruz. I think his first name is Max. But nonetheless... He's gone from Borussia Mönchengladbach to VfL Wolfsburg. He's had a good season this year, scored a few uh, goals. His head-to-head -head rating at the moment, I think, is currently 79. I think I gave him exactly what his head-to-head -head stats were. He's apparently gone for 9 million, which uh, or 12 million euros, which is his uh, release clause. Uh, so Borussia Mönchengladbach had no choice other to accept the deal, and apparently it's gone through and is confirmed. Now, looks like a relatively decent card. Could be an interesting one, but probably won't be used too much in Ultimate Team due to that lack of pace. Next up, we have Danilo and there's something about that Real Madrid badge next to the Brazil in a row that just looks so sick I don't know why that badge looks absolute like the whole card looks so sick but 23 million is reported how much it costs for Danilo to head over to Real Madrid this deal will obviously go through during the summer with the little increase he's had in uh, head to head and what he'll probably get for moving to Real that'll be an insane card again really solid pace good defending good physical and a nice well rounded card we've all seen how good his informs are that card will be absolutely insanity and last but most certainly not least we have Jibala. This is a guy that many people seem to be uh, linked with. But finally, it looks as though it's a done deal to Juve. There was tweets going out from the Palermo and from the Juve accounts yesterday saying it's a done deal. Uh, they're all over, like, all, every news source is saying it's a done deal. And I think it was €40 million, Euros, £32 million. Pounds, a lot of money for a very, very young player. But for the sake of Juve, they're buying a lot of strikers. Let's hope it comes good. So a very, very insane deal there. And probably, in my opinion, the best in terms of FIFA. Uh, that we'll have. But that is the end of this episode. Boys, remember, if we could smash 750 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. Remember to comment down below who you think will be the biggest transfer this summer. Any rumours you think will happen, and that'll be great. I'll probably be back with this in a couple of weeks. Give it time for some more confirmed transfers to come out. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.